All right, what's going on, guilty guys and gals? Welcome back to Omori. Uh, did I heal? I did. Good for me. <laughs> um, we just fought the King Crawler, and uh, it was great. <laughs> I feel bad for all these sprout moles. They're just dead. But now we're going to this... Well, we're going underground, I guess. But then we're going to the castle in the distance. <clears throat> Oh boy. Sprout Mole Village. I like that title card, actually. It's very unique. <laughs> How did the Sprout Moles make freaking gates like that? Like, what the heck? Also, is that sweetheart? Table full of merchandise for an obnoxious looking person. Mm hmm. Ah, hello, strange looking Sprout Moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold-out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Wait a second, I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the trauma. Yeah, fun. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting, but now doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, Hero, we should at least check it out. Please, 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 please. <laughs> well, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. Ahem. If I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, yes. Of course, Mr. Sproutmull, sir. We have our tickets right here. I'll be reaching to your pocket and took out the show tickets. Here you go, Mr. Sproutmull. Oh, oh my. I can't believe my eyes. These are front row seats. You, you all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today. I applaud you. Forgive me for calling you strange looking out there. At second glance, you follow the most normal looking Sproutmulls I've ever seen. <laughs> Please enjoy your front row seats, fellow normal looking Sproutmulls. Can I go look at other stuff first? Why is there a... Fidget, fidget, fidget. Hush, hush, hush. Is he trying to sneak in? A sprout mole with a quest. Brother mole. Hey, you there. You creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the sprout mole colony in Otherworld. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of get it getting lost. Would you be able to deliver it for me? Sure. Thank you, strange creatures. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Here you go. Nice. Make sure it gets to him safely. I'm going to eat it. No, I'm kidding. We sprout moles do not dare leave the colony ever since the great move. It was a harsh time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror. And now we're killing them. I mean, at least it's all okay now for the most part. I hate Mondays. <laughs> well, good thing it's not Monday then. What's down here? Whoa, that's an Omni Sprout Mole. It's got so many sprouts. And this one's a party sprout mole? He's wearing a hat. Dunce mole? This wall is nice and cold. Oh. Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. Oh, dude. I mean, it's got the demon in the bottom right, but most of it's cool. <laughs> got the cool person S. Do you think we'll all still be friends after we graduate? Mm. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a mole in a cage. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Oh, this one's sprout mole shaped. This one is for sprout moles only. Whoa. <laughs> we are two. We are one. We are twan. <laughs> no humans allowed. I cannot be disturbed right now. This room is occupied. We got little airplanes hanging from the ceiling. That's kind of cute. Sous chef mole. How dare you speak so much blasphemy? It's only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent sense knows that tofu is better served cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you two come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold. Like, I don't know, lukewarm? <laughs> Ew! Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. 
Look what tofu! I want to throw up! Even hot tofu is better than that! Oh, jeez. <clears throat> oh, yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feats on sliced bread. Tofu. Sure. C'est magnifique! Here's your tofu trivia for the day. There are four kinds of tofu. Firm, extra firm, soft, and silken. If you wish to know more about the amazing and majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. <laughs> It takes 12,672 blocks of tofu lined up end-to-end -end lengthwise to equal one mile. <laughs> Very cool. C'est magnifique. Here is your tofu trivia. Firm tofu can be stir-fried, baked, cubed, and just about anything else. This is because it can retain its shape and still absorb flavor. <laughs> How many of these are there? It takes... No, oh, we've already seen that one before. One more and I'm out. <laughs> Soft tofu is best prepared raw or drained. It is best for desserts, smoothies, dips, and sauces. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Sprout tofu. A microwave. Fridge. Tofu jash. Hello, sir, madame. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? It will cost you exactly one clam, sure. Thank you for your patronage. You got tofu. I don't remember what the tofu does, but that seems like a good deal for anything. Oh yeah, heals five heart. Perfect. <laughs> oh no, 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 no more. No more tofu. That's okay. It never ha it hurts to have tofu on you at all times. I know I've gotten out of plenty of sticky situations with tofu. I'm gonna fight some sort of sprout mole, and it's gonna want tofu. <laughs> beautiful mole. Look at me. I'm truly the most beautiful sprout mole in my world. <laughs> Just because you got more sprouts than anybody else? I don't know, man. Is that how sprout mole beauty is judged? Oh god, it just keeps going. Hey, there's a pennant up there. Sporty mole. Sport mole! <laughs> okay. A bicycle mole. Why couldn't... Th oh, these are jokes! I forgot! I have to get these. Why couldn't the bicycle stand by itself? It was too tired. <laughs> Excellent. You recorded the joke in your joke book. I think there's another one upstairs I have to get. Bird mole? <laughs> oh no. Ah, winter. It may be snowing outside, but winter is time for friends and family. Cuddling next to a warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on hot cocoa, and most importantly, taking a breather after a long year. Winter's the best season, don't you agree? No. Oh, that does not bring me joy. <laughs> get out of here, you. <laughs> I just realized that guy was in there. Fall, autumn leaves, comfy clothes, the smell of cinnamon, the perfect time to cuddle up with a book. And with holidays right around the corner, you've just gotta love fall. Fall is the best season, don't you agree? Yes, actually. I concur, fall is the best season. I'm delighted you agree. Here's a gift from me. I hope you find good use for it. You got a rake. Fall sympathizer. Hmm. I see you've tossed your favor in the way of fall. You received no gifts from me. Hmm. I see you've tossed... <laughs> Fine. Okay. <laughs> So what is the rake d good for? It wasn't equipable, right? It was purple. I can't remember if that is. Yeah, it is. Embodies the spirit of fall. Attack plus three. Eh, I probably could have gotten something better. <laughs> I don't think I'm probably going to ever use that. But it's fine, because I told the truth. <laughs> oh, I want to go talk to this flamingo. Um, I like mo I like every season except for winter. And that's just from living where I do, you know? Miss Flamingo, Kra! the humble abode of, a Ro of Rosa, Kra, Kra! the number one sweetheart fan in the world. Oh, this is uh, that sprout mole that was up on the other world. How did you get all the way up there? Ooh, there's a melon. Christmas melon. Square sprout mole. Are you from Japan? Christmas is my favorite time of the year, so why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? You want to cut the Christmas tree? Oh, I have to do that to get the melon. Not yet. <laughs> I'd feel bad. Also, what if I get, like, kicked out? Then I'd lose out on these jokes, dude. Mayor Mole Jr. So hard to get a good night's sleep lately. If only I'd suddenly make the experience of sleeping more comfortable. Like a bed. <laughs> There's so many sprout moles. Still, like, half their population did get killed by the King Crawler. Just a good old mirror. 
a floating mirror. Checking all of them. Faster, men! We push ourselves to the limit and strive for a brighter tomorrow. Warden. <laughs> this is the giant outlet. A very large happy outlet. Huh. Pretty sure I saw this in a trailer. But maybe we will save it for later. <laughs> There'll be some side quest, I bet. We'll see. Um, I guess I'm going to do it. <laughs> I feel bad. Just always present. Christmas is ruined. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got the achievement for ruining your Christmas, though. Um, is it a toy, I think, I saw? Yeah, present. Inflicts anger on a friend or foe. Well, of course it's not what you wanted. You stole it from that sprout mall, Mori. Yeesh. I'll just pin my bad actions on you. <laughs> um, who did I still have to talk to? There was something I still needed to do. Right, there's another joke book somewhere, I think. And I haven't been down here. Okay. Oh, this is like a fence. Cut the wire. Uh, no. What does the wire do? I'm working on revolutionary technology that'll change all life in the colony. Nay, the world. Nice. <laughs> oh. What are you? Oh. Should have cut the wire, I guess. King Carnivore. Oh, it's using the same music as King Crawler. That's interesting. I don't like that it's got like a huge bloody mouth though. I just don't like that. Um, root or King Carnivore? Probably have to kill the roots first, right? If I had to guess. <laughs> We'll see what emotion he ends up with. <laughs> King Carnivore roars. Okay, feels sad. Hit the root right in its heart. <laughs> Great. Oh, hero. <laughs> root wiggles around. Oh, okay, so the root are its damage dealers. Gotcha. Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Um, then I've got no reason not to make the main body angry, right? Because it's not attacking us. It's just the roots that are. It's probably actually real. So I'm just going to have everybody guard except for Hero. Who's going to, um, here on Cal. Cal's going to annoy. Wait, whoops. I think I annoyed one of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, Cal can use annoy on himself? I never really thought about that before. <laughs> and I'm going to heal. Heal Aubrey. Oh. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, something gives me the feeling I might not be prepared for this yet. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, Team Spirit? Right. Ooh. All right, that's something. Um...
Let's see. Ah. Mock really dropped its attack as low as it could go, and it's still one-shotting us. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, I'm running away. No way I'm beating that guy. Not yet. But part of me feels like um, dropping the anvil on him might have some sort of consequence, right? Because he's so tough. I don't know. I really don't need whatever's in those melons right now anyway. So I'm going to leave it for now. Same as Angry Bear. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to... Or the Rare Bear. I'm going to have to fight them pretty soon. I just have to, you know, level up some more first. Seems how they are optional bosses after all. <laughs> Juicy tomatoes. Hmm. All right. Um... Oh, it was this I was looking at. This is just the poster for Sweetheart's show. That's not a joke book. <laughs> a joke opportunity. All right, let's go up. Oh, I see. This is Sweetheart's door, not the Sprout Mole's door. <laughs> I kind of find it weird that Sweetheart... I always took Sweetheart to be kind of like the stuck-up type. Kind of find it weird she'd be performing for Sprout Moles, but I don't know. Maybe she's just, like, greedy. Convenient that the seats are in rows of four. <laughs> oh, God. This is the same layout as the church. I just realized that. I wonder. Oh, no. <laughs> If that is the case, and Sweetheart's, like, worst qualities are supposed to be transferred onto Aubrey in the real world, then I wonder if Space Boyfriend is supposed to be sort of like Kel. Seems how they were so, had so much in common. I don't know, we'll see. Wow, just look at this huge stage. It's as amazing as I imagined. And Aubrey's also taking sort of a front row in this whole ordeal while Kel did last time. Interesting. Let's take our seats! It looks like the show is about to start! Are you ready to take your seats? Yeah, I guess. Do, do, do. Is she gonna have Venus's voice? That'd be funny. Hey, Sprummel, shut up! The show is starting. Thank you. It's me, Cool Sprout Mole. Sprout Mole Mike, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who's been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Ye old Sprout. Oh, he's big. <laughs> oh, we killed him, didn't we? It was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. May he rest in peace. <laughs> I think I think he was like the first boss that we fought with Basil. And now onto the show. Last time on Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible bachelors. This time, we've rounded up three new very attractive contestants. Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now. Contestant number one is local of Sproutmoor Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one. Contestant number two is, uh, yep, you guessed it, a local of Spudmo Village. Careful, he's coming in hard at three feet and one whole inch. 
His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant number two. <laughs> Hold on. I'll make that joke in one more second. And now for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from other worlds. It's like he just fell out of the sky. He literally did. According to him, that him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snally. I got hit by a planet. <laughs> Tag yourself. <laughs> I'm Snally. And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please! She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most plotritudinous plot face. I don't know what that means, but I said it. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that and amazing and wonderful. She's just about to set, to set foot on this very stage. Please, give a big warm welcome to this, the one, the only, the magnificent sweetheart. <laughs> Not Snaily. No, there's a blackout. What do we do? I have to know what happens next. Let's wait it out. I'm sure the sprout moles will get the power back on in no time. <clears throat> Help! We don't know what to do! Help! We don't know what to do either! Help! Somebody help! 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, well... Maybe we should look around just in case. <laughs> All right, I know where to go. One of you is going to have to use your boundless energy. Wow, I guess the blackout affected all the Sprout Mole Village, too. What do we do now, hero? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like these, we should probably be looking for uh, some kind of backup generator. Doom da -da -doom -da -dum -bum -bum -bum. <clears throat> Wonder if everybody has different dialogue. They probably do, but I don't know if I want to go through all of it again. Nope, they don't. Great. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for anything more. Uh, yeah, that is the farthest ladder. I remember it being on the left, so it should be on the left. Uh. No. <laughs> Wait, did I ever go down this ladder? I didn't. Spatmos were well intelligent, are also very obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self-control. <laughs> I bought six flamingos. I don't know why. Oh my god, he's depressed. I'm sorry. Ah. Feel so bad. <laughs> All that for a present I'm probably never gonna use. Pick up the pace, boys. We must make haste. We're trying our best, William. This is fast as we can go. We have tiny legs. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Just keep running, moles. Nothing is done without a little sweat. <laughs> Faster, men. We must push ourselves to the limit and strive for a brighter tomorrow. You guys, the wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> what I say, moles, hard work pays off. Now keep running. <sighs> Do you want to exercise with your friends? Sure. Cal is the fastest. Hero's the slowest. Oh. It's too relatable. I think that's as much as we're going to get out of that interaction. <laughs> Hero is sweaty. 
All right. Do 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 do. I don't know what this music reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. It might be Terraria. I think it is like the Terraria cave music. A little bit more cheery than that, obviously, because it's not as ominous of a cave, but it kind of does. Just the staccato notes. All right. <laughs> Whoever the idiot who unplugged the cord was, hopefully they don't do it again or I'll be mad. This is going to be like talent manager mole. <laughs> Somebody's got to take that guy's place. Somebody please help me. I'm in need of a handsome young gentleman. Take care of. <laughs> you, yes. You there, in striped pants. You're a magnificent beast. Yes, oh, 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 yes, you'll do just fine. It really is hero, isn't it? I had a feeling. Uh, wow. Uh, well, thank you. I, I don't know what to say. Please catch, sir. We help out a poor lonely mole. I desperately need your service. Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you. Thank you, young lad. You're too generous. Please come this way now. Chop, chop. Wait, hold on. Can my friends come too? Oh, yes, your friends. You're all here to see Sweetheart's Quest, yes? So, if so, you will meet again soon enough. Now, come, sir. We must make haste. Time is short. Are we going to have lose Hero for the... <laughs> Sweetheart's going to like Hero. She's going to kidnap him. We're going to have to storm her castle and take him back. I bet, which is unfortunate because Hero needs levels more than anyone else, <laughs> but oh well. Sweetheart, more like, oh no, what was it called? Uh, something creep, space creep? I don't remember what it was from Earthbound. The one that steals Paula, <laughs> your healer. That was why I was making the joke. <laughs> Can you just not cra do that with the mic? Jeez, it's not that hard. Sprout my mic. <laughs> Goody sweetheart fans, we apologize for that short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. <laughs> Snaily died. He died so hard. It's at this time we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds we got to know him. He didn't even say a single line. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. He's going to come back in like the dark dimension or something. <laughs> it's going to be the running gag that he dies in every chapter. But the show must go on. <laughs> Good job, you guys. You did it. <laughs> Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three, hailing all the way from the vast forest. It's our hero in shining armor. Did you guys really have to put me in armor? <laughs> He's shy. Uh... <clears throat> Get this, guys. He was a real hunk, standing at a whopping seven or five seven. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. <laughs> He's so mild, it's amazing. And now once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please! But don't... <laughs> another power outage. I didn't mean to dim them that much. She emits beauty. She exudes, yeah, you know, grace. She truly has uh, the most pretty face. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all amazing and wonderful, and she's just about to set foot on this very stage. She's the one, the only, the magnificent. <laughs> set foot on the stage, she still hasn't done it yet. <laughs> I like that sound. I also like how her text goes out of the text box. <laughs> and excellent entrance, my liege. <clears throat> there she goes. Now she stepped on the stage. Ah, yes! It is me! Hello, my stupid, adoring fans! We love you, sweetheart. You're the best! <laughs> <laughs> sweetheart, uh, we brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. 
One thing the sweetheart values most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. <laughs> Do you, contestant number one, agree to pledge your allegiance to sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant number one, what's your answer? Uh, sure. I don't know. I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, sweetheart? Hmm, just three feet tall. My, that is much too short. Send him off to the dungeon. Hey, well, uh, what did you say? The d dungeon? <laughs> <laughs> they got so swords. I almost said souls. Hey! Ah. <laughs> Help me! Here, I was just like, go. <laughs> now, on the contestant number two, we ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer, just answer truthfully. Contestant number two, will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, uh, sure. If that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. My word, this one? This very being offends me. Take him away, boys. <laughs> No! <laughs> Poor Sprout Moles. <laughs> he just leans down onto the microphone. Actually, this is better because, you know, I'm basically floor height anyway. Contestant number three, looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask you the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. <laughs> Do you, hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, no, that doesn't sound fair at all. Why would I do that? <laughs> My, this one is absolutely immaculate. Could it be his sweetheart in love? <laughs> oh, what an exciting turn of events! This must be fate, a match made in heaven! Wait, but I just said... Ah, <laughs> yes, yes, you'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Uh, it's, uh, it, it's Hero, ma'am. Hero! My hero! We must go to my chambers at once. Uh. <laughs> Guards, I've chosen my suitor. Take him away! <laughs> Come on, Hero. I know you don't have that high of attack, but you can beat up two sprout moles. Guys, please do something. Whoa, Hero's gonna marry Sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. Kel, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Kel, you're so useless. <laughs> Hero, you have to reject Sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's gonna listen to me. Just do it already! <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sweetheart, ma'am? Ah, uh, yes, my lovely hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. <laughs> wow, that's, that's nice of you. I mean... <clears throat> Why do I have to do this? <clears throat> I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why, whatever do you mean, my prince? I, uh, this is all really flattering and all, but, you know, we only just met, like, a few moments ago, and, well, I have to reject your, um, offer? <laughs> oh, pish posh. Don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I don't want to marry you. <laughs> this, this is preposterous. No, this, this is blasphemy. <laughs> you dare reject sweetheart? Everyone loves Sweetheart, you hear me? Everyone! Send him off to the dungeon! Hey, stop right there! You can't take Hero, he belongs to us! 
What's this now? The music has the oh in it. That's great. What's this now? What is a non-sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Ah, I see. You must be Heroes fans. The nerve of you lot. First you make a fool out of me, then you interrupt me during my own show. I'm the one who makes the rules around here. Guards, take them all away. <laughs> hey, we were hiding in the plants. Now you've gone and done it, Aubrey. <laughs> oh. I was kind of right. Hero did get taken to the dungeon, but we did too. Oh man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's my fault we're in this mess. <clears throat> no, it's not, Hero. No one could have predicted that would happen. I could have, kind of. <laughs> you fools! Don't you recognize me? Oh no! <laughs> it's me, Rosa! The number one sweetheart fan in the world. I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me. Curses! We've been bamboozled! Should have known you were behind this, Rosa. It's true what they say. Revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons! Rot in the dungeon forever! <laughs> Dang it, how are we gonna get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys, let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked, would they? They're sprout moles, hero. <laughs> Oh, there's a card. Nope, we're in our cells. Definitely. Just gonna hide out in here. Oh! Okay. Why does this jail cell have a trap door? With a labyrinth. What? <laughs> hey, it's Mary. Mary, save me! Hi, it's Mary! Mary! Mary, help us! We're stuck in the dungeon! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> there you go. Now come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me. It'll make you feel better right away. Is that a jar of jelly? Ah yes, pickles. <laughs> it's pickles. Oh boy. <laughs> Well, it's uh, a warm day, and it's getting very hot in my room, and this is a convenient time to stop, so I'm going to do it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. What an episode. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have to fight Sweetheart, just like Space Boyfriend, right? There's no way they put that much emphasis on a character for it to be nothing, you know? <laughs> I'm interested to see what that fight's going to be like. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys again. Like and subscribe. I will see you very soon. Sooner than usual. <laughs> okay, bye.